everybody, it is I, your friendly neighbourhood docker, and welcome to the first episode of Noms for 2021. Yeah, it's been it's been a little while. I think I I've taken some time doing other projects in January, but here we are. And today's quite a special one. Well, they're always special, let's face it. Because today I'm going to be covering the new flavours of Walker's Crisps. Now, to those who are uninitiated, Quavers are a corn-based, usually cheesy snack, um, that are in the crisp kind of variety. They started out in the 60s um, and went on to have a number of different flavours, but have always predominantly been cheese. A couple of weeks ago uh, it was advertised that they were going to start doing two more flavours. The only problem is, even though I've seen them advertised, they've been incredibly hard to come across. I've looked in all of my local supermarkets and yet the only times that I've actually been able to find the prawn cocktail and the salt and vinegar have been in corner shops. I managed to find these at a local cost cutter and these were just in my local little corner shop just randomly so I thought might as well give them a try uh, I think the best way to start is a prawn cocktail now I'm one of these weird British people who actually really don't like cheese and onion so when I found out that they were going to do two flavours that I actually quite like I always end up going back to prawn cocktail and salt and vinegar. I was very excited and very happy because I've always found Quaver's crisps a bit too cheesy. Um, before we get into this, first it says here, they're back. It says, it says that on both of them. Um, but funnily enough, the prawn cocktail ones have actually been in and out of public consciousness for a number of decades. They were one of the first flavours to get um, made and then they came back every other decade, I think 2001 might have been the last time they were around. I might have to check on that. Um, there is no instance on whether or not these are limited edition, um, but obviously everybody's getting very excited about them, so you can't really find them much of anywhere. Uh, but it says on the back here, you asked us to bring back this delicious prawn cocktail flavour and we've listened. They're as curly, crunchy and melty as ever, so go on, pop one in your mouth. Bit weird. Um, so yeah, I might as well get out one of these small bags from a multi-pack. Now, I'm, I, I get the feeling that the, the bags of crisps these days are getting smaller for a reason that I won't go into but it's a bit weird to see them in such a quaint little size I still don't remember them being that small bag I mean you look at the grab bag in comparison um, yeah it's not that much of a difference I mean how big is this one anyway this one's, this one's 16 grams and this one's 45 grams so, I don't know. But, I will say this, there's not as much air in it. There's still quite a lot of quavers in it. So, give the old shake, get the flavour out. First things first, the smell test. Now, to my mind, the best prawn cocktail crisps around are probably Seabrook. I don't know what it is they do, but Seabrook's, oh, my mouth's salivating just thinking about them. So, here we go. And see how this fares in comparison. It's definitely prawn cocktail. Uh, so fun fact, actually, about prawn cocktail crisps: not actually any prawn in them. It's actually more of a spicy tomato kind of smell. Because if they tried to do actual prawn cocktail it, with prawns, it would cost a lot of money. Not to mention a lot of food waste. So, okay. No, I'm not going to get a little one. I want to get a big one. Okay, usual quaver. So give them a try. Huh. Um, it's a quaint taste. It doesn't knock your socks off. 
That was a crispy one. Hmm. Well, no. Um. I mean, they're good. But yeah, there's not. It's not like blow your nostril hair out flavour. It's um. Yeah. Um, I mean they're good, don't get me wrong, however, if you're a lover of prawn cocktail crisps you might be slightly disappointed, because Quaver's cheesy flavour are usually very 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 cheesy, this is not very 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 prawn cocktail, um, it's subtle, to say the least, I mean I might find one Quaver in here that's just got all the flavour dust on it, I don't know, but I've had worse, if I'm honest. Um, anyway, I'll finish that bag a little bit later, but next we're on to the salt and vinegar grab bag. Now, the thing about these is they're actually a lot younger than these, uh, the prawn cocktail ones. Uh, they first came about in the early 90s and to my mind, salt and vinegar is just... It's very it's a very British thing. I've not heard of many other countries getting salt and vinegar crisps, but whenever I have friends come visit from other countries, I always try and get them to eat these and then also prong, uh, pickled onion monster munch because they're just quite unique in themselves. Um, to my mind, the best flavour of salt and vinegar is has been and always ever will be the Golden Wonder ones because they are just insane. You cannot binge on Golden Wonder salt and vinegar because the taste is so powerful. But anyway, um, it says the same thing on the back here except they've just replaced prawn cocktail with salt and vinegar. Um, but yeah, I might as well get into these and see what we can see. Now the corner shop were actually quite surprised that I said that these were hard to find but they were happy to have them. Now these already have a lighter kind of colour to them than the prawn cocktail. I was going to give them a sniff. Again quite subtle. But yeah as you can see these are actually quite a fair bit lighter than the... let me get the prawn cocktail. You can see that this one is definitely lighter than that one. I think that's just the dust. Let's go. Get that out of the way. By the way, salt and vinegar quavers. Are they worth hunting down? Let's find out. Um, well, hmm, again, very subtle. You don't get that sharp pang that you usually get with salt and vinegar crisps um, from the vinegar. And because most of these are air, I could probably just eat all of this in one sitting. Which kind of explains a lot. Um, well, again, these are just lightly dusted with the flavour. Uh, it's weird because you'd think they would just take the dust from the Walker's already salt and vinegar and prawn cocktail flavoured crisps and just use that. But I'm getting the feeling that they've gone with a whole new recipe for this one thing. Um, okay, professional opinion. Professional. Personal opinion, then. Um, if you're a lover of quavers and you want a little bite of the nostalgia, 
You may like these. Um, if you're a fan of prawn cocktail and some vinegar, but you don't want anything that's going to kind of like ruin your palate for a few hours, yeah, they're, they're quite light on the... I mean, the aftertaste for the salt and vinegar lingers more than the prawn cocktail, certainly. However, do I suggest uh, for you to give in to scalpers online who are selling packs of these at an extortionate price? Um, no. Wait until they're more readily available. They'll, they'll have another truck out sooner than you think. As I've said, I've already seen them not advertised in places like Tesco. They just haven't turned up on the shelves yet. Either that or I turn up too late to buy a pack. Um, so, by all means, give them a try. Um, but don't pay like an extortionate price. Don't let anybody scam you. Um, I only paid one pound for the salt and vinegar, and I think it was still a pound or so for the six pack of prawn cocktail. So don't lose your nut over everything. But anyway, folks, um, that has been my thoughts on the new Quavers flavours. Nice little rhyme there. Um, there are other snacks at the moment that I'm looking to get my hands on. For instance, I really want to try the new Jaffa Cake cherry flavour but I'm yet to actually find any in box form, uh, or any form for that matter. Uh, I do already have something else in the pipeline which I actually found with the grab bag of something vinegar. So um, yeah, expect that video coming pretty soon. Uh, but anyway folks, if you have any ideas of any snacks that you'd like me to try, feel free to uh, pop them in the comments. Um, and I'll probably see you again soon. I don't know, this weird this year's already quite weird as it is. Uh yeah, screw it. Okay, bye. <laughs>